Hi everyone in year two, it's Miss Frohawk. I'm going to show you what the things that you can do with your place value chart and the two, two tens frames that went home with you. Now you're going to use the counters that we gave you. Everybody has 20 counters, keep those safe. And the first thing I want to do is think about how I can represent numbers. So I'm going to think of a number that I know. Hmm. I'm 27. Like I'm going to write 27. It looks like this. 2 and a 7. And I think about how do I make that number? I'm looking at the 27. And I know, I can see that there are 7 ones. And there are 2 tens. 2 tens. 20. I might draw my, my place value headings to help me. Now I'm ready to make seven ones. I might count in my twos. Two, four, six. Hmm, two more would be eight. So now I just need one more. Six, one more, seven. There's the seven ones. And I'm going to do my two tens, my 20. Ten. 20. So I've now made 727. Instead of writing the number first, I'm going to make the number and then decide the number that I've made. Okay. I might put... Three there. And... Five here. Okay, I'm going to put up my tens and ones to help me. How many are in this place value? Two, four, one more, five. Five ones. How many tens? Three tens. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. Made up of thirty. Oh, not seven. Thirty-five. Thirty. And five. That made my number thirty-five. You might even make a number using some hundreds. That's just one place value bigger. Same rules apply. How many ones? There are still five. How many tens? There are still three. And I can see there's only one lot, one hundred counter. One lot of a hundred. My number, 137. So I have just represented numbers using my counters. Now, I'm going to think about reusing my representing numbers in a different way now. And rather than just thinking about how many tens and ones there are, I'm going to think about Hmm, could I represent it in ju using just the ones column? Can I go back to the number? Can you use the number here? One ten. And two ones. I can see I've made the number twelve. And I've used it, use, making my ten here. And my two ones. Ten and two twelve. But does this ten... Could I put this, this one ten counter somewhere else? Could I do a fair swap and change the place value? What do I know about one ten? Let me write it down. One ten is the same as something ones. Okay, so I already have the two there. I'm going to do a fair swap and change this one ten for ten ones. I'm going to keep them away from these two counters because I know that that's not part of my 10. Two, four, six, eight, and ten. I'm going to check. I still have, so I still have the number 12. I'm going to count on my twos. Two. Four, six, eight, 
can. 12, I still have 12. This time, I've made 12 using 12 ones. So what have I just found out? I found out that one ten and two ones is the same as 12 ones. I did that first swap and checked that it still gave me the same total. Why didn't you have a go?